so um, in an email I had a question about uh, images that I create and um, the program is called playground you can, uh, they do have a free version of this where it'll limit the uh, amount of pictures that you get as far as um, whenever you do sign up and this is the cost of it here and uh, the one I'm using is going to be the, the pro version uh, if you ask me if you can do it for the 144 in the 12 months it's it's actually a good deal um, because this um, I've tried the other ones I looked at um, oh, what was the the chat GP there was there's a lot of them basically out there that you can can use and I tried them all and this one compared to them I don't understand why this is not the biggest one and and I'll show you that in one second here why um, but this is all the pricing here um, and I pay the uh, I do it monthly but I'm going to probably move up to the 36 coming up here within the year if, um, this project stuff gets finalized for me but this is what I use so let's go back to this my creations and we're going to go ahead and click here create and they uh, I do like the format they've switched it up a little bit which is actually the best thing in the world it was a little bit different where you would have the um, so you have these filter choices that come up here and they basically are a uh, it's like a descriptor basically what what kind of image that you want to create um, based on um, these different styles here and I, I've gone through a lot of them uh, I think I'll do a video on I'll just let's do a uh, let's see a background uh, let's see we'll do background China animation style let's go to nineteen thirty you know what uh, background let's go put the nineteen thirty here nineteen thirty China rice field uh, animated style and I always put this to D uh, let's see 16 K HD digital cartoon image and I'm going to I'm just going to put these descriptions here I'm going to put uh night time landscape anime style and I usually do other descriptors here digital HD and what 
else could I add here? I think that'll be it. So, um, this is all you, you type here. And basically, the descriptors, like I said, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the the ones I use for 2D animation is usually the uh, Real Cartoon XL, sometimes Blue Pencil, uh, this one here also uh, Straight XL Animate, um, sometimes visually I would use the, where's, oh yeah, Mysterious, which is this one, um, the counterfeit one here is the one I usually I, I think I used that one at the beginning because it does give a really good 2d image um, that you can create and I played around with a lot of them uh, watercolor is another one uh, the Dutch one here uh, photo vision is a style that you can use kind of gives that puppet um, I guess the like that puppet style like 2002 where you see a lot of anim animation style go from 2D to that style I'll probably click on that to show you but you have all of these descriptors and um, he, let's go to the columns over here so we're gonna leave that descriptor like the one we had so real cartoon uh, when I go over here it will give you a uh, request for the layout style and I do the one that's custom um, when you do custom you do have to get the pro version so I'll do custom and um, I'll do 1020 and then 576 and it's just the reason why it's just basically because of the layout um, that I like to use I don't like that kind of uh, I guess the iPhone kind of looking or it's just a square it's a real limited view um, I, I like the wider version of uh, when I create these images and you can see here the blue box outline so whenever you do whenever I do use the um, the 1024 uh, it'll fill up the whole the image will fill up the whole uh, box for me here um, the prop guidance is basically going to be a layout it just base it, it will show you different I guess variations based on how high you have this it's not really it can affect it if you go too high I know that it, it'll it'll basically try to get you um, your description they'll try to the, the further up you go with this the more it's going to be detailed on exactly how you describe it in this box here so it's not really a good idea to go too high because the program will start to generate exactly what you put here sometimes that can be a bad thing sometimes it's a good thing it just depends on how descriptive you want to be um, but I keep this here usually between four and seven and I'm leave it at seven because it'll show us what we have next one here is speed and quality speed to me is not really a, a necessary one quality is the one that I really uh, pay attention to but a lot of the, the images that I'm creating are 2d images so um, I usually have this higher it's not really needed to go that high with the 2d animation uh, some people tell me whenever they're doing like real images and things like that that really will affect it but for what I use it for uh, I usually don't have to have that that high because either I'm going to cut out of it and turn it into a vector or do other things if I'm trying to uh, rig a character or something like that so that really doesn't do anything for me here so you know what I could do I'll click on the question so with all this prompt controls how and how prompt influence the image and that is very true uh, and that will be the prop guidance the next one quality uh, user speed quality and uh, the right amount of detail to your creation and again if you're doing 2d 
animation for what I use this for it's not really a big deal uh, refinement this one is kind of weird for me uh, I'll click on here so it says uh, pull even more features and nuances out of the images you needed um, for some reason and this might be something I'm doing wrong the higher I have this the image is not really refined it, it's it's a weird thing and I'll, I'll play around with that um, a little bit but usually the ones I'm paying attention to are going to be the prompt guidance and then the speed and quality those two things are you know what I really use it for so the refinement I don't use 20 I'll, usually I'll go down to you know six four but again I'm using this for 2d animation style it's animated style is going to be 2d 16k HD quality uh, digital cartoon image nighttime landscape anime style digital HD quality so this is what it's going to balance out the higher that you have this the more it's going to stick to your image the lower you have it uh, it'll give you different creations so we'll create that here um, when you get the pro version you could go up to eight I usually do two because I don't know what the image is going to look like um, expand the prompt is basically things that you want to adjust and whenever you do have the ex ex uh, expand prompt here let's go down so you can type things here that you want to exclude from the image so let's I don't really need any of this but we'll cut that out here so ugly to form I don't really care about those Distorted, uh, out of focus. I don't need any of those really. So, and ugly doesn't make sense to me because I behold it then. Uh, so, deform, distorted, out of focus. We'll just use those three descriptors. What it's going to do, it's going to uh, customize this image, and these things right here will be technically remove from the, the image that's basically what it does uh, so if you question here it says uh, detach uh, I'm sorry describe details you don't want in your image like color objects or a uh, scenery the two models that they have here um, I only use this one because that's what I've been using it for for the 2d Playground V 2.5 is a better, uh, I guess you could call it a platform because they do exist on the same plane, so to speak. So um, for what I do, the 2D, I only use this here because uh, the other descriptors, whenever you do choose this one here, these descriptors change. So you no longer have the, the ones that I use and these are different descriptors. So. Um, I have used the watercolor one for V2.5 uh, or haze. I sometimes use that one for it. Um, but those are the two choices here. And this is the, the one that I uh, like the most. And we'll do real cartoon. All right. Do I get everything here? Seeding. Oh, uh, sampler. Sampler, it basically is like categories. Uh, whenever you do get the pro version, you have different ones here. Um, I usually will use this one, which is the P plus plus to ML SEE. So we'll be using that one. And control freights. Uh, I'll go probably go through that in um, another video. Uh, private session, I just use that because sometimes when I'm creating images, I don't want those to be used by anyone else. I just want the ability for me to see it by yourself for that. It doesn't matter because I'm doing a video on this, but private is what I use because whatever I create, if I draw something and then I um, upload it, the ability for others to see it uh, will come up whenever you do create this so you have the option of making it private and we'll click on the question mark it says images will only be 
visible to you and until you until you're ready to share um, them and again if you're working on any kind of projects and you're getting ideas from this depending on who you are it's not really a big deal but if you really are worried about you know I created I drew something and then I put it in the platform to kind of modify it or give me the uh, the other options I need. You probably want to keep that private for yourself. That's the only reason I would think that you would use that. All right. So, um, so number of images too. And we're just going out the description again. Background 1930s China rice fields, animation style 2D. 16k HD digital uh, cartoon image nighttime landscape anime style digital HD quality all right and then we have this image that I pulled from something that was already created and I'm going to put the image strength to four and we'll go create There you go. All right, let's take a closer look here. It's not really a style that I would probably use, but again, it does just give you the 2D style here. And you can use that as a uh, background. I will probably use this. I will probably take out the, the sky element because I don't like the way skies at night to me sky should be very dark and uh, ominous so I do like this part here from like the bamboo I think that looks cool bamboo here but I would probably take out all of these things in the back and then when I am anime animating anything especially if the character is walking I, there's an effect that I like to use where I would cut this up and uh, different par what we call parallels because there's a certain way I like the characters to kind of move whenever um, I am doing something uh, in Moho. So that's the kind of things I like to see different. Um, but I, I, I like the way they, this this style looks. All right, let's go ahead and change this here, the filter to uh, let's see what uh, counterfeit will do and again all the controls are the same we're not doing anything just changing the counterfeit and we'll create two more images with that descriptor there and create The, um, whenever you do the XL, it is a lot faster. I, I do notice that, but it doesn't really take that long, couple seconds. So different kind of art look to it, different kind of quality, right? Not bad, All right? And let's go to, what else here? Let's go to this one here and create be cool if these two were mixed together a little bit okay it's kind of similar to these cool there they were kind of round instead of square 
but they do keep in line with the 19 I think I what did I say 1930s China I kind of like this one too I'm probably cut out all this other stuff in the background but I like that one it's more defined here a little bit which is good let's go ahead and change I want to see what it says here let's go to night 2030 <laughs> just to play around see what happens create it is focusing on my my photo so it probably won't change that much but let's see oh, okay Okay, I got it. They're like, oh well, this is how it would look in a platform kind of way. Okay. And there are probably villages that look like that. Hmm. Let's see what would happen with the. This one would go back to that description. Create. Kind of like this one as well. Probably save that. Okay, I got you. It's kind of weird with the moon, but I'll probably take that out as well. But I do like this here. Kind of landscape. Okay. Um, but there you are. So let's go ahead and if I if you draw something and you're trying to get it exactly. So we'll put this up to 55 and see what happens there. It's still going to take from your description, but it's going to take more from the photo. And let's go ahead and see what happens there. I really do like this one. Huh. Well, it's not a close-up. Okay, so this is my image here. So the higher you put this, the more it's gonna kind of stick to your your theme. And I could use that for like different close-ups and stuff like that. Change those in. And whenever you do that, and I save it in there, uh, I can remove this image. And I'll just go in and let Playground create what it likes. And we'll see what happens there. And this is without any image that I've propped up. Okay. So I'd add some people here. This is pretty cool. I like this one. I like the way those vehicles look. This one here is a little bit more modern. Yeah, I like them both. I'll keep them.
uh, control, oh, and that's not the key word here, uh, control, what is it, uh, carefully loop the loop, start and finish, right, control it, and then let's put, you can see there there's a little thing, and then uh, when you right click, this is what needs to happen. just gives you a loop here in the top. Let's see if that'll work for you. Let's see what that does. You guys can see it better than I can. I stretched this out.